Hello everyone, um, I'm in Raleigh at the airport here, RDU, and I'm about to fly back over to Denver, but I wanted to talk to you today about the future of the database administrator. This is going to be uh, a multi-part series, of course, all mine are, you know how this goes, I love to talk. But uh, one of the challenges that we're hearing is about where the future of the DBA is going and what their careers are going to be. And as you hear about autonomous database and there's going to be no more DBAs, well, there's not going to be any more boring tasks, hopefully, but there's going to be a lot of interesting work for database administrators in the future. Now, one of the challenges that I'm seeing is where those DBAs are going to be working. And the way that I looked at it is more and more of them are not going to be working in individual data centers and companies, but working for companies like Amazon and Microsoft and Oracle, of course, um, in these big cloud developments or environments. And as this occurs, of course, you're going to see a huge change in where those data centers reside. Now, the question is, is are they going to become like the Walmarts of tomorrow? Um, now, if we look at it that way, it's, it's kind of interesting the way that the perspective is of business. And it's going to be very different for the EU versus, you know, and UK versus America. Um, when I was looking at data on this, it, it was kind of intriguing because, you know, the EU has 86% um, self-employed versus the US that only has about 10 to 15%. There's a huge difference there when I'm looking at the numbers and these were like just quick numbers that I was looking at online. So nobody freak out if I'm a percent off, okay? Just understand the disparity. That's what I want you to focus on. Um, for you detail-oriented people, I know how you are. But recognizing this and realizing that Walmart in the United States employs 1.4 million people and that in 19 states they're the number one employer. So will that happen with Amazon? Will that happen with Oracle? Will that happen with Microsoft, with Azure? Is that where most of our majority of database administrators going to futurely be employed even if they don't have the title of DBA as those boring tasks change? So I want you to start thinking about that as this conversation continues and know that you know when we go to collaborate, coming up here in April, we're going to have a capstone session where we talk about the future of the DBA. Um, we've already got a couple panelists that are signed on to it. I'm gonna be, of course, be on that panel, um, and I'm hoping that it's gonna be a really good talk, but I wanna start building up those conversations to start figuring this out of where do we see it going? How do we help direct it? How do we make sure that we have the best careers possible? And for those of you that are retiring, don't just dump it and say, hey, I'm not gonna be here anyway, what do I care? We're all in this together, we should all be caring about it. So until next time, talk to you soon. Bye.